hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by so just a few days ago we made a video of the world bank approving 500 million us dollars loan for ahmed bolatinibu and according to them they said that it is for uh women livelihoods for the improvement of women livelihoods in nigeria and uh, we are yet to recover from that one. You guys don't want to hear how much Ahmed Bola Tinibu is asking to be borrowed from World Bank again. The worst part of it is that this is the same World Bank a few months ago that predicted slow growth in Nigeria in 2023. This is the same World Bank that is borrowing to Nigerian selfish leaders endlessly. Before we get into it, uh, I want to please beg you all to please help me by sharing this video. Also like so that YouTube and Facebook are recommended to more people so they will know what is happening in their country. The news here read, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu seeks fresh Senate approval for 800 million US dollar World Bank loan. 800 million again they just borrowed 500 million and according to them they said it is for improvement for uh, women uh, livelihoods that particular money they borrowed uh, we've not seen like i said in that particular video that i made if you know that you are benefiting from it i'm not even talking about myself now because i myself am a woman so if you know as a woman or your wife your mother your sisters are already benefiting from the so-called 500 million us dollars they borrowed from world bank recently please signify on the comment section because i myself i want to be a, a partaker of it President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has asked the Senate to approve a borrowing request of 800 million US dollar for the National Society Safety Program. Politics Nigeria report that Tinibu, in a letter read by Senate President Goswi Akobio during plenary on Thursday, said the loan would be used to provide financial assistance to poor and vulnerable Nigerians. They don't come again. The letter said the loan would be sourced from the World Bank and would be used to transfer 8,000 naira per month to 12 million poor and low income households for six months. Tinibu said the program would also stimulate economic activities in the informal sector and improve the nutrition, health, education, and human capital development of beneficiaries' household. The letter reads Please note that the Federal Executive Council, led by President Muhammad Buhari, approved an additional loan facility to the tone of 800 million US dollars to be secured from the World Bank for the National Security Safety Net Program. Copy of fake extract attached. You may also wish to note that the purpose of the facility is to expand coverage of shock responsive safety net support among the poor and vulnerable Nigerians. This will assist them in coping with basic needs. You may further wish to know that under the conditional cash transfer widow of the program, the federal government of Nigeria will transfer the sum of 8,000 naira per month to 12 million poor low income households for a period of six months, which a multiplier effect on about 60 million individuals. In order to guarantee the credibility of the process, digital transfers will be made directly to the beneficiary's account and mobile wallet. It is expected that the program will stimulate economic activities in the informal sector and improve nutrition, health, education, and human capital development of beneficiaries' households. Given the above, I wish to invite the Senate to kindly grant approval for the additional loan facility of 800 million US dollars to be secured from the World Bank for the National Social Safety Net Program. Why hoping that this submission we receive expeditious consideration by the Senate. Please accept the assurance of my highest regard. Recall that the former president, Muhammad Buhari, had towards the end of his administration made the same request to the ninth Senate in May. However, the request wasn't considered before it ended 
on June 11. The National Social Safety Net Program is a government-run program that provides financial assistance to poor and vulnerable Nigerians. The program was launched in 2016. Just like they said, this program was launched as soon as this uh, APC government took over power. From that time till now, how much they don't give? If if some of now they collect this money because it they be like say that nah, I not be the same country now all of us day. So as I they talk these things, they were they talk. If some of now they collect this money or you know even they collect, but you know the people where they collect this money, I bet more now still let us know on the comment section. More now show us road so that we self go follow collect if you reach our hand if you go reach our hand. Now, let me quickly drop my uh, two cents before I read some comment for you guys here. God bless the former president of Tanzania, John Magufuli. May the soul of that man continue to rest in perfect peace. The reason I'm saying this is that man was a president whom his predecessor signed for a Chinese loan before he came into power. But he came and he read the terms and condition. And he said that it is only a drunkard man that we accept that kind of terms and condition. And thereby he rejected the loan. He did not collect that loan. He had every opportunity and every single reason to proceed to sign and collect that loan. But he refused to collect the loan. Ahmed Bolatinibu's government is telling us now that it is Muhammad Buhari's administration that in initiated this uh, project or program, whatsoever it is they call it, and they want to continue from it. And I always say, because bad thing has been in office for a very long time, does not make it right. You want to continue from this audio project that we are not seeing any effect. And because of this audio project, you want to collect 800... Ah, Nigeria... Nigeria leader, we not get conscience, so... We not get conscience, so... For this country that has become the headquarter of poverty because of the many money that you people has borrowed without using it to do anything. You people are not thinking of how to repay the ones you have borrowed. The next thing you are thinking, what these people are thinking every minute, every hour and every day is how to borrow and impoverish the people the more. I don't know. Let me take some comment for you guys here and leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. Someone here says, you are taking loan and we sell all year, every hour. Okay. And someone here says, this cannot solve any problem. By the way, how will they select the people to benefit from the largest? To me, let all borders be opened and still be properly guided. Workers, worker salaries and wages be reasonable in, be reasonably increased. By this, money will be more available where others will benefit. Farmers should be encouraged by creating good market for them. Let more young graduates be gainfully employed and head facilities be provided. Retirees, especially from the state, their gratuity and pensions should be paid. And that is where I stop it for you guys in this particular video. I'm going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.